हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू स्पेक्ट्रम क्लासेस इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द लैब एक्टिविटी फॉर एसिड रेडिकल्स एंड फ्रॉम ग्रुप वन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर कार्बोनेट एंड एसिटेट एसिड रेडिकल्स एंड फ्रॉम ग्रुप टू वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द फ्रॉम हेलोजेंस क्लोराइड ब्रोमाइड आयोडाइड नाइट्रेट एंड ऑक्जोलेट एसिड रेडिकल्स एंड फ्रॉम ग्रुप थ्री वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द एक्सपेरिमेंट फॉर सल्फेट एसिड रेडिकल so let's start with the lab activity now we are preparing the sodium carbonate extracts i have taken one part of salt and to this i am adding three parts of sodium carbonate and we are filling this test tube up to 3/4 and heating it so after 5 10 minutes it boils after cooling we are going to filter it here we are having the residue and this residue we can use for the test of basic radicals here we are having the filtrate and this filtrate is used for test of acidic radicals and why we are using this so here i am showing you the experiment i have taken the lead nitrate and if i am adding the group reagent dilute sulfuric acid it gives the precipitate of lead sulfate and therefore we cannot perform acid radical test limitation this sodium carbonate extract is not suitable for carbonate test because it itself give carbonate test test for carbonate ion so we are adding what to the water extract of salt dilute h2so4 it gives brisk effervescence you can see and if we collect these vapors to another test tube in this manner and it turns lime water milky you can see that the second test for carbonate is we are adding magnesium carbonate solution which i am preparing here this i am adding to the water extract of salt so you can see the white ppt test for acetate ions so i have taken water extract for acetate ions and to this i am adding FeCl3 solution it is freshly prepared and neutral too so you can see the red coloration of acetate ions now test for chloride ions so for that i have taken sodium chloride salt and this salt i have taken in a test tube to this salt i am adding hno3 acid and make a clear solution here you can see it is clear now to this solution we are adding hno3 solution here you can see the white ppt of agcl and these white ppt of agcl are soluble in ammonia solution so i am adding ammonia solution to this so here you can see these white ppt are soluble my chloride test for chloride ions so i have taken salt and to this i am added potassium dichromate and h2so4 here you can see the reaction and these brown fumes near by the walls of this test tube here now we are heating it just to collect these vapors in another test tube yeah, from the sides you can see the vapors are coming out actually this is not the proper way to collect the vapors for that we have some special arrangement and to these collected vapors i have added noh solution and to this i have added lead nitrate solution which gives yellow color and due to less concentration the intensity is low test for bromide ions for that i have taken sodium bromide and to this i have added dilute nitric acid and to this i have added silver nitrate solution and you can see here ppt of silver bromide these ppt are sparingly soluble in ammonium hydroxide so ammonium hydroxide is added to this 
and this shows it is partially soluble. Test for iodide ions. So I have taken this sodium extract and to this I have added silver nitrate solution. So you can see the pale yellow color. It should be light yellow but here it doesn't seem like that. And these silver iodide precipitates are insoluble in ammonia solution. So here I am adding ammonia solution to this. So you can see these are insoluble. Test for nitrate ions. So I have taken sodium carbonate extract and to this I have added H2, concentrated H2SO4 and to this I have added freshly prepared FeSO4 ferrous sulfate solution and at the junction you can see a brown ring is formed. So this is the confirmatory test for nitrate ions. Now test for oxalate ions. So I have taken the salt and we have prepared the water extract because in this case also carbon dioxide is evolved. So we are not taking carbonate extract for this. So I have divided this water extract into two parts for this oxalate ions. And in the first part I have added calcium chloride which forms calcium oxalate white PPT. Here you can see calcium oxalate white PPT. To the second part I have added H2SO4 concentrated and to this I have added freshly prepared KMnO4 solution and this oxalate ions decolorize the purple color of KMnO4. Now test for sulfate ions. So for that I have taken copper sulfate salt and I have prepared the water extract for the sulfate ions. We can take sodium carbonate extract too. I have divided water extract into two parts and to the first part I have added barium chloride which gives barium sulfate white PPT. And to the second part I have added lead nitrate solution which gives white PPT of lead sulfate. So these are the lead sulfate white PPT. So guys I hope you find this video helpful and you enjoyed the lab activity that helps you to understand about the acid radicals. So thanks for watching. If you like this video please subscribe my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you all.